could see the wish that their father is asking for. He says, after my death, you burn. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, which is the most important thing to do, subscribing. Um, we've said this before, and I'll say it again. This is our reactions channel, and we react to each, almost everything that we come across, and each and everything that you guys um, suggest, we actually do it for you. So if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel, music, animation, uh, whatever it is, just name it and we'll just look into it for you guys. And other than just doing reaction videos, we also have other things that we do. We have a podcast called Diving In With Funny and Jesse. We have a Patreon called Funny and Jesse. And we have a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Make sure to check that out. Posted a video recently, so just check it out. Feel free to support us there as you've done on this channel. Um, also, I want to say a big shout out to people that's been suggesting and just supporting us in their own different manner by watching, by clicking, by sharing. All that means a lot to us, and we appreciate you guys for that. Also, how are you doing? Let me know how you're doing in the comment section below. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're in good health, and I just hope you're in a good place. So today I'm going to be. Oh, before we start the reaction, um, you can also check out check us out on social media. We go by Funny and Jesse. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram, and we also have our own personal um, accounts. Everything is in the description box below so today i'll be reacting to he feared allah and yeah as usual i'm excited to see what this reaction is about and just eager to learn something from this hope you guys are too so without wasting time let's get into the video and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he speaks about a man from the previous nations and he speaks about this man that had committed all sorts of sins and this man knows and recognizes and acknowledges all the sorts of sins that he had committed and he realized that his life is coming to an end which is an end in this world by beginning with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an end of a free world to be in a world of judgment. So this man had committed also all these sorts of sins. And then that day comes where he knows that he is coming near his death. So he realizes that he is going to stand in front of an angry Lord that's angry from his sins. But he forgot. He forgot that even though that Allah Azza wa Jal will be angry from the sins that he had committed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also merciful. And while he's on his deathbed, he will call his children and say to them, what do you classify me as? What do you see me as a father? So they'll say to him, we saw you and we experienced our life with you as to be the best of fathers. So he says, well, I have one wish. I have one wish that I force you to do after my death and make sure you do that. So the children are listening to their father and then they'll be shocked and surprised to see the wish that their father is asking for. He says, after my death, you burn me. And when I turn into ashes, you divide some of the ashes in the sea and the other part or what's left over on land divide me all around the world so the children would object and say oh dad that's a very very harsh wish 
how, how can you expect us to do something like this to you after your death? So the father says, this is what I wish for and this is what you must do. And then he dies. After his death, his children would do what their father had asked them to do. And the reason the father had asked for the children to do such an action, to burn him and divide him all around the world, some in the sea and other parts of his ashes on land, is that he thought he could run away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he knew he's going to meet an angry Lord from him for the sins that he had committed. He knew that Allah Azza wa is not happy from the sins that he had committed. So he thought that a one way out from running away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he forgot the one that created him from nothing can bring him from something. And he forgot that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Ali say, Kun fayakun bi, and it happens. So the one that created him from the beginning brought his ashes back together, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought him back the way he was. So this man comes back alive in the form that he was before he was burnt. And Allah Azza wa Jalla will say to him, Oh my servant, Oh my servant, what made you do what you did? Why did you ask your children to do this? What made you do what you did? Be burnt. And when you turned into ashes to be divided all around the world, explain to me, why did you do that? So the reply of this disobedient servant of Allah, who later unrepented, to Allah Azza wa Jal before his death, who say to Allah Azza wa Jal, Ya Rabb, oh my Lord, the only reason that I did what I did is because I fear you. Because I fear you, Ya Rabb. Because I knew what I've done was wrong. And I knew the sins I had committed were wrong. And I knew that I'll be facing you. So I was so scared that you'll punish me for the wrong deeds and wrongdoings and evil sins that I had committed. So I thought I could run away from that. So Allah Azza wa Jal will say to him, Oh my servant, because you feed me, I'll forgive you. So get to the paradise. an unexpected twist at the end. I didn't think he would enter paradise, paradise just like that. I mean, the thing is, of course you have, of course you have to fear God, but then if fear is the only thing that can get us into heaven, then I don't know. I expected him maybe to, you know, but he did what I expected. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what kind of sins we've committed. Even though on earth and someone tells us our sin is greater than the other person's sin, at the end of the day, sin is sin. And I always say, we can always come back from it. It doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter whether you're on your sick bed. It really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, God will always forgive us. Provided that you've come unto him and you said, you've looked within yourself and said, yes, I really want to follow him. Or yes, I really want to turn my life around. And yes, I want to be forgiven for the sins that I have committed so far. So to think, um, how they say it's never too late. So maybe at home blaming yourself for something that you can't change. Or maybe at home for something that you can change. Never stray away from God. But before I get confused or before I forget, I was wondering, is it a sin in Islam to burn your body or what? Back to the video, I think um, burning the body and trying to run away from someone who created was kind of silly. But then people think differently. Maybe to him, that's the only way he could be pure when maybe judgment comes or when he faces God. Don't, don't be this person. You, you can always be that person that comes and actually confesses your sin. Be that person that owns up for the wrongdoings that you've done and come out of them. Be sure that you're owning them and you're ready to change. Always be ready to change. 
others wait till the last minute but you and i don't have to wait for the last minute for us to look into our lives let me know how you feel about this video and the message it contained otherwise i loved it i really loved it so yeah let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video